I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey everyone, so today I'm getting a little bit crafty. I've got a few spare parts kicking around the store and I want to turn it into something a little bit unique. Now in the past I have turned certain things into lamps and lighting, uh, like the skull lamp that I built a little while back or the ship's lantern that I built when we first opened the shop. But today, uh, and they always sell really well, so um, I thought today I would build another. So I've been keeping some uh, tripod legs around and I'm always looking for tripod legs because they come in handy for all sorts of things. So I've got some military tripod legs and I've got an old, if you see it here behind me, a uh, brass Model T headlamp in really good shape, but I just have one and I don't have a Model T. So um, I'm gonna put the two together and try and build a lamp out of it. Now, it's important to note that I'm not drilling any holes or doing anything um, that's gonna destroy this lamp or make it so it couldn't be used on a car again. It's gonna be intact. Anything I do will be removable. Uh, I'm gonna use some of the existing holes and spots on it to, um, to mount it to the base, but at least I can use it as a lamp for a while and put it to use instead of just sitting on a shelf. So we're gonna get busy today, find some supplies and start putting this thing together. And there's a lot to choose from, but I'm looking for an Edison style light bulb. So gotta find one that looks a little bit more old fashioned. Okay, so I've got my light bulb. I think this one will do the trick. Next stop is gonna be stopping to find all the little accessories and bits and pieces to actually put this thing together. So I'm gonna find the hardware aisle for the lighting, which is gonna be right around the corner here and pick that up too. It should be right around here somewhere. So what I want to find is something kind of like that that I can just screw in and use as a bracket and then probably a little lamp socket, something like this. I'm gonna see if maybe there's a kit that I can use that has everything in it. If not, I'll just buy the parts separately. So this is just about everything I need for the lamp socket itself. I do need to get a cord still and uh, a bolt to mount the, um, the, the headlight onto the stand but uh, I'm gonna throw these in a basket and go find uh, the electrical cord and the bolt. So I think I pretty much got all the parts that I need to put this thing together. Now it's gonna be going back to the shop and uh, having a look and see if this is all gonna work out. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that it does. Got all my bits and accessories here, the bulb, the carriage bolt for mounting it on, an adapter spacer that I'm using. This is actually a plumbing spacer out of the sink, but uh, I think it'll do the trick to act as a spacer, plus it's brass and so is the headlight. Um, the socket, and all together, the parts today that I needed came to $52.63 Canadian. So that's like a dollar US right now. Uh, more like about 40 bucks US, I think 42. Um, so with the, let's see, the, the tripod that I have there and the lamp and the accessories, I think materials is a little under $200 for everything all total. Um, so I'm going to get cracking on putting this guy together. First thing I have to do is start figuring out, um, how I'm going to mount the socket inside of the headlight. So I'm going to start there. And the nice thing about using a headlight is it's already built in with a reflector, so it is going to put off some nice light. Uh, I'm using the existing hole here, and that's going to be what I use to put the uh, bolt through to mount it. But I have to figure out where the bulb itself is going to go. So I have to find a spot where I can mount the, uh, the socket. So that's going to be next step here is trying to figure out where to mount that uh, socket adapter. The new lag bolt's just gonna go right in to the shoulder there, and I'm gonna use the original set screw to hold it in place. I've got some washers for the other side. When that's bolted down, it should be nice and tight. That should work out very well. The original screw that was on there is actually a little bit small, but luckily 
The screws that come with the uh, hardware are the same exact thread and they're brass and a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna use one of those and put that guy in. So I've got the socket um, for the light bulb. I've already seen one of those before. And this is an extension threaded tube. What you do is uh, if you get the one that has a little thread on the end there, you feed your electrical wires through and it just basically gives you a little bit of height. Now I don't need a whole lot because this uh, light bulb is gonna be a pretty tight fit as it is. So I'm using a fairly small one. You thread that in and then this gets threaded into the adapter plate, which we are installing. And that will be the mount for the light bulb. All right, we got the bulb and the bracket all in place. I'd use a little spacer there to make it uh, mount up properly, but the bolt is in there nice and solid too, because that's also acting as a set screw. Next, I've got to put the lamp cord through, and thankfully, these little mounting holes here go all the way to the outside, so I can actually just run the cable right up through the middle there and inside. So that's what I'm gonna do, put that guy in. And I'm putting a knot in the cord so it doesn't pull through in case somebody trips on it or pulls on it. It should be safer that way. So I've got it upstairs and in place. I put a little bit of wood stain on the brass collar there just to kind of age it a little bit. So all that's left now is to turn it on and find a buyer for it. So this was a quick and easy project using spare parts from around the store. I hope you guys liked it. If you like our videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can check us out online at curiosityedmonton.ca on Instagram and Facebook as well. Thanks for watching and bye for now.